Sekta ya biashara ndogo al maarufu jua kali hapa nchini imekuwepo kwa zaidi ya miongo minne. Imegawanywa katika vitengo vinne vikuu. Wafanye biashara wadogo, wazalishaji ama wasanii, watoaji wa huduma na wazalishaji wa bidhaa za kilimo. Yeah, this is an area that has always employed a large number of youth and a large number of other persons including women. Ni sekta ambayo wa Kenya wengi wa kawaida hutegemea katika maisha ya kila siku. Hata hivyo, tangu kuanzilishwa kwake miaka ya sabini, hali ya sekta hii haijakuwa kama vile wa hudumu wake na wadadisi wangetaka. Ingawaji imekuwepo kwa muda mrefu, ukuzi wake umekuwa na vikwazo sio haba. Ni kwa hili wazo ambapo shirikisho la kitaifa la vyama vya jua kali lilishirikiana na baraza la magavana na wizara ya viwanda na ukuzi wa biashara ili kutafuta suluhisho la kudumu. Baadhi ya matatizo ambayo yamekuwa yakikumba sekta hii ni ukosefu wa malighafi kama vile mashine za kisasa na teknolojia ya kisasa. Challenges ziko mingi. Kwanza jua tuna mashine za kufanya kazi. Leo tuko nazo ni kidogo. Haitutoshi kutengeneza vile vile vinavaa. Ukosefu wa mashine huwafanya washindwe kutengeneza bidhaa zitakazotosheleza mahitaji ya soko. Tatizo lingine sugu ni ukosefu wa pahali pa kufanya kazi. Kikwazo ambacho kinakaa kutambulika na wahudumu wa jua kali na hata viongozi. Space ni kidogo. Kama wangeonelea watupatie hata kama wanaweza kuongeza kutuongeza sehemu nyingine ya kazi. Watu wamekuwa wengi hawana kazi. Kama wangeongeza sehemu nyingine ikuwe kubwa kidogo. We need to create proper infrastructure for them to be able to do their work. Ukosefu wa ujuzi wa kusimamia biashara umechangia kudidimia kwa sekta ambayo ina uwezo wa kuajiri idadi kubwa ya wakenya iwapo inaweza kupigwa jeki ipasavyo. Kwa mfano, afisa mkuu mtendaji wa shirikisho la vyama vya jua kali Richard Muteti anasema kuwa ni sekta ambayo imekuwa ikiunda zaidi ya 80% za kazi mpya hapa nchini. Ni uwezo ulioje. Every year more than 87% of the total new jobs comes from the MSC sector. Majority of whom are operating in the informal economic sector, and we—it's a fact also that currently the sector is offering more than 24 percent, or almost 24 percent of the country's GDP. Fedha ni rasili mali nyingi ne muhimu, lakini wahudu mwa biashara ndogo ndogo hawajakuwa kizipata kuhurahisi. Yamkini hawana abari watazipata wapi, ama mchakato kuzipata ni brefu hadi wanakina iku fatilia. Bidhaa zinapokamilika huishia sokoni. Soko limekuwa tatizo kubwa kwa uhudumu wa jua kali. Kuna dhana potovu kuwa bidhaa wanazotengeneza hazitoshi mboga kwa ubora. Dhana ambayo shirika la ubora wa bidhaa KEBS linafutilia mbali na kuhakikishia wakenya kuwa bidhaa za jua kali ni za ubora wa hali ya juu hata kuliko zile zinazoagizwa kutoka nje ya nchi. Haya yote na mengine yaliyoibuka katika majadiliano ya kaunti kuhusu ugatuzi wa sekta ya jua kali yatapigwa msasa katika kongamano la kwanza la kitaifa la jua kali katika ukumbi wa Bomas. Majadiliano haya yamekuwa yakiendelea katika kaunti zote nchini. Kulingana na waziri wa viwanda Eden Mohamed, sekta hii ya biashara ndogo hususan jua kali ina umuhimu mkuu katika kukuza uchumi wa kitaifa. MSC sector is one that I think is getting less credit than it deserves as far as its contribution to our economy is concerned. A significant part of it is in the informal sector and yet we don't see a lot of graduation to the formal sector but contributions in terms of to GDP, in terms of to job creation in the country, it is fundamental and one that I think is punching below its weight, you know, its weight in terms of visibility and in terms of the contribution that it's making. 
Edan anahoji kwa sekta hii inafahamu vikwazo vyake na ushirikiano wake na serikali za kaunti utaisaidia katika kukabiliana nazo ili sekta yenyewe inawiri pasavyo na iweze kuchangia zaidi ya asilimia hamsini katika uchumi wa kitaifa. The single sector that would help us diversify our wealth creation, make our development agenda much more sustainable and also make sure that we can create the necessary jobs that we so much need in this country, there is no other sector except the MSC sector that I think we are also proud of and wanting to drive going forward. It's a serious sector. Anywhere in the world, this is a sector that incubates and supports as a pillar towards a country's industrialization, a country's creativity, and a country's self-sustainability. Katika kama ni atsaidia ikiwa watatuletea machine za kutengeneza ili tuafade ku yani tuweza kuuza vitu zikuwa kwa wingi. Technical skills are available. It is not a classroom affair. It is a highly practical engagement looking forward to getting someone getting started to business immediately after the training is over. If supported could actually uh, create a new manufacturing uh, sector that is locally based and that uses local materials and will definitely create a much bigger employment uh, opportunities. Kila mmoja wa tuliozungumza nao alihisi serikali iwe kinunua bidhaa za humo nchini ili kuinua sekta hiyo. Hata hivyo Shirika la ubora wa bidhali na waomba wa hudumu wa sekta ya jua kali kuwasilisha maombi ya viwango vya bidhaa zao ili zipate soko sio hapa nchini pekee bali hata katika ukanda wa Afrika Mashariki. Matumaini ya kongamano hili la kitaifa la jua kali ni mengi. I have a lot of hope and confidence that this sector is going to take off in a bigger way than it even has been. Uh, our president has made a commitment to you know, ask at least 30% of the government procurement go into supporting the youth, the women, which largely tend to be within this particular sector. And we haven't even scratched the surface in terms of hitting that 30%. So I think the sky is the limit in terms of the opportunities, in terms of the chances that these businesses have to actually take advantage of this pledge by government. Ikiwa matokeo ya kongamano hili yatafuatwa kwa umakini, basi kadiri wa hudumu wa sekta hii wanavyojikakamua kuunda na kuzalisha bidhaa zao ndivyo watakavyozalisha hata na uchumi wa serikali za kaunti na nchi kwa jumla. next 10 years the vision 2030 will be closer than the way we are perceiving it today right. <laughs>